Here. Carlos Solomon. Present. Vic Sims. Here. And Jennifer Andrews. Here. All okay. present. Have a report. Yep. All everybody. Okay. Can I um, get a motion to dispense with the reading of the minutes as presented and approve those? Okay. All right. Um, a motion by Ms. Andrews, second by Ms. Gear. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, that's five to zero, passing the minutes. Um, 171015, request for consideration of noise and odor problems with Buffalo Rock and Mayfield Barbers. Um, currently, after the um, carbon was replaced, we have had no issues that I'm aware of. Mr. Almar, Mr. Wilberton, have y'all heard anything? Okay, that's good. That's good. No, no hearing is good hearing. All right, um, so we'll carry that one over. Uh, new business, 10.07.21, request for consideration of park bench donations along the Lakeshore Trail, Mathis Bird, and Ms. Andrus. I know we received an email that I forwarded, that uh, was forwarded out to everybody this morning. I thought he was going to be here. Okay. Um, all right. Um, well, I mean, we can go ahead and discuss, but I, I really do kind of want to uh, get input from him since he's the one making the donation. Um, hold on, let me find that email. Um, his proposal is that he is donating three benches. Not a stupid email. Oh, there it is. Um, <clears throat> they are iron benches uh, to be placed on the Lakeshore Trail. Um, six foot bench, horizontal straps, rectangular plaque, cast iron with black, black, back, black background. Um, and I believe the proposal was to have them dedicated. So the memory, the, my involvement with this came, um, I know that he had worked with Jane and with Henry. <coughs> um, and, and Jane and Henry had gone out and found the big trail. Mm -hmm. So I met with Berkeley about it and we talked about, you know, who was going to install them and who was going to upkeep them. And, and we talked about, you know, the city doesn't really have a um, policy for a memorial, you know, and, and we, talk, we talked about, is that something we want to look at as a city? Do we want to put something in place that if you want to. So there's something more exactly, formalized. Who, you know, Berkeley's team is the one who, is, uh, you know, taking care of everything. Yeah. And um, and that's kind of the, that's kind of where things were left. And and I know Jane and Henry had picked out some locations for him that I don't know that he. I I, I got the impression that he had some other places in mind that he liked better. But that's all. That's all I know today. Okay. All right. Um, we just I think it all encouraged to do with this. Pick more donate things, and they're willing to name them after people. Mm -hmm. There's only so many you can put on there. Right. And there's only so many that you can do, and then who maintains them after they rust, break, bloody? Have a tree fall on them. Sure. Does the city maintain that? There needs to be some type of policy that you got to move forward. That if you're adopting these naming rights, benches, memorials, or whatever, that there's something in place that you know if they want to do it, if we do it ten years down the road, fifteen, that there's something in place that is there because over time those things are going to wear, they're going to be broken, they're going to rust, whatever they may be. And the city's interest is to, you know, you want, you want to take that on. If you do, that's fine. But I would just encourage you to look at this thing as you move forward because my, my concern is where does it stop? You know, if somebody else comes along and wants to give four or five, where do you put them? You know, Things like that. And who but determines whose who's memorial is more important yeah. than another person's and, memorial? You know, yeah. As a park board, we, we've allowed one bench naming in my 14 years. That was a young lady, a non blanchard yeah. uh, that uh, sadly lost her life. And that's the only one that we've done. And that was done in Patriot. And so, you know, again, not saying that that was any different than any other, but we just didn't get into the naming business or, you know, having plaques of different people. Put on there. So, and, uh, and Berkeley helped me because I do remember we had this discussion in the park board, and I don't think it ever happened. Did y'all come up with a did the park board? We have put a policy? Got a policy that that we had put in place that you know we didn't they didn't allow it. It was done before my time, but they didn't do anything. Oh, the, that policy. that the policy is we don't do yeah, it. They don't do it. Okay. Now, we did. Uh, Rusty and I we got together and got some stuff up. There's different 
policies out there. That yeah. People, they come in and pay a maintenance fee if they do it for 10 or 15 years. Then they come back if they want to rename it or keep that plaque on there. You can get them that the plaques are removed. They kind of pop off. Yeah. And if somebody else has something that, you know, and they, this family doesn't want to do it or nobody claims it, then, you know, you do it like that. I mean, there's different options that you could do. But, you know, again, that area is just with the, with the flooding issues and stuff that go on there. And again, you got to have them in locations that if people are running, walking, a biker comes by, they got to be able to get off that lane. So you got to have distances. And I, I know Henry and Jane have looked at it. Yeah. And so I, that's just me. I mean, I, whatever you guys want to do, that's fine. We're going to work around it. But it's just something as you go down the line on these things, the more and more is, you know, I've always been as, you know, people that have done stuff at home. You know, there, you know, things like that for me should be, you know, want to name something after somebody, you know, people that have, you know, had a profound effect on our city. You know, what that is, I think it's up for debate, but, you know, that's me. But, I mean, again, that's up to you guys. But, I mean, we're just maintaining the property, and as I told them, the park boards, you know, we're we're there to maintain it. Yeah. And something of that nature needs to come to you guys and let y'all know. Okay, um, Walter. Well, wait. Walter had a question. Why, okay, and then so why, why is this not at the park board? I mean, wouldn't this be because need to be approved by we had this the discussion. park board? You maintain it we, well, because technically they're not in yeah, charge of the green. My time here, we, we just always maintain it. Anything of that nature would have to come before the council to get approved because yeah. it was never dictated as park board property like our other facilities are. It was just something that we agreed here to go to maintain. So. I just, you know, again, that's not my only concern. I mean, I, just, my only comment, if you're, if y'all are maintaining it, I, I want you to determine and make sure we don't put it underwater. You yeah. know, like, <laughs> I mean, like I saw, I have the trail underwater. I mean, underwater. I just don't, yeah, I mean, it, that, whatever motion that needs to be made needs to be approved, to me, needs to be approved by Berkeley or the park board. Or it's just something you guys think about. I mean, I'm not telling you how to do it or what to do. It's just, as you move forward with these things, more people come and want to donate these things and, and you know, build a memorial for somebody. It's just something to think about as we move forward. Just a quick question. Yep. Um, for parking and happening things like is there, was there a negotiation or, or something took place where you all just uh, make an exception for that particular case and the maintenance of that bench? Or what we did, they actually, I mean, her mother and him. They pay. They raise money. They yeah, no. It was actually. Money. It was actually students. Yeah, it was Her friends students. did that, and no. they came to us. They came to me and Rachel Estes. Yeah. And asked if we could help facilitate that because they wanted to do something. Because she grew up right across the street from oh, Patriot no, Farm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So just, just in terms of how it was done, that was kind of an exception. Also, yeah. Like, what will happen if it's sent to somewhere? Right. Mom and them have agreed to maintain. They bought the same type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They bought the same type of bench. We. We showed them what we used in the parks. We ordered it through them, actually. So we ordered it for them. Yeah. They paid for it and they maintained it. You know, she said over time that they, they put away money to rent it. Because over time, people walk in the cold, they don't yeah. uh, like a leg here and there. But Angela so likes to go. Else. So, you know, yeah. that's part of it. They would be some maintenance. Yes, they do. Yeah. 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 City of Mount Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, this came up. Remember a couple of years ago, we did the same thing on Lake Shore <laughs> for the runner. For the runner. Yes. Okay. Yes. Which Correct. we discussed what we were going to do. Right, so right, it's right. basically the same thing. Are we, are we not talking about the same thing? And as far as Berkeley, I guess you didn't know about that. Um, and again, well, that's what I was thinking. Was there, 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 there. So that's what I'm saying. We're, it is. I think y'all might want to discuss that, that issue. I, I think, I think the, what the role of it. No, 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 I'm saying that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Put in place. I mean, I, you know. Yeah, and I think that's you know part of the discussion is when we get to the point of doing this, like when, how many benches are too many benches? Whose memorial is more important than another person's memorial? We want to make sure that it's fair and equitable. And I think you're right. I think a policy, having a policy in place that kind of not regulates, but makes it create a policy. Yes, that makes it policy. equitable for everybody. <clears throat> so is probably the way to go. Uh, and also keep in mind, you know, we got basically a green lake coming. So uh, in my mind, that's a great location. There'll be more space. I think so. I mean there's not I mean there's plenty, you know, there's there's two main sections of the trail. There's a there's a section that's you know from Target to the high school.
school. Right. There's nowhere to put a twin. No house. bench over there. No. And then there's the high school to Green Springs, and there are actually plentiful. There are there are actually there's multiple benches there already there. Benches, yes. Right? Yeah. On that, yeah. That there are trail that goes back behind. Because that's the Brookdale. ones that uh, Brookdale put yeah. up. I think. So, yeah. 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 Yeah.
I trained it soft. And I know sometimes <laughs> sticks routes move, but at the same time, it would be it would be a great thing to have at a number of transit stops around the city. There's not always Instead furniture. Instead of leaving the um, Colt Byron wood bench all over the town. <laughs> Right. Yeah. <laughs> Which we moved yeah. all over town. I'm just saying, if you can get a plan in place, yeah, right. We need a better location. Yeah. And most places, if you look, and I know, Jen, you know, about like in Austin, Texas, they have a thing, I think it's you can do one for 10 or 15 years. And then, I mean, they've got like a list of people that want to do them. And the so they list. go in and replace them with somebody else. That's weird. Just to give you an example, but I mean, there's a good opportunity for it, just having something in place to do it. Uh, no, that was the intersection. Uh, right, that was the crosswalk at Kiwanis gave us money for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, cor the crosswalk at Lakeshore. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and I mean, that, I, they have this in a park in my hometown. I, Yes, I, I would tell you that we, we need to do some more thought and research and perhaps as a committee develop a proposed policy for the city to go forward before we just blindly do things. Without Mr. Bird here. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, especially with him being the one who's proposing the, the, the donation and he's not here to tell us what exactly he's anticipating um, yeah, as a result. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and my hometown, they have they have benches in the park, so I may see if there's a policy happening there. Also, yeah. one thing um, we um, did that at you know certain buildings at UHB. Yeah. And you know it's kind of up to us. You know when there's not space, there's just not space. You know there's right a certain allotment of what we could have in place there. And then so um, when it's I all think, it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. And I, so I think it's totally up to us as far as you know, just adding benches in the city, we should just, you know, look at it as a case by case that we will consider them um, if there's space, yeah. um, you know, and if there's three in one spot, you know, there's not space. So. Okay, well, we're, we're going to carry this over, yeah. A, so that we can get in touch with Mr. Bird. JJ, I'll let you do that since you've been talking to him. And um, I'll call Jane. yeah, yeah, and you can call Jane and we'll, we'll get back together and discuss this. Okay. 110721 public hearing set for August 9th, 2021 at 6 p.m. for consideration of a sign variance at 2610 19th Street South Therapy South Advanced Sign White Pews. Yes. Oh, sorry, I got really short arms. Okay, um, real in a nutshell, the uh, it's not the exhibit there was from a resolution that granted a variance in 2019 for uh, 2610 19th Street South with a sign from the says physical therapy. It's a second wall sign. Uh, at the time, they were asking for to have a second wall sign and to have it be a little larger than what was permitted by the old code. Due to a whatever mistake, whatever after the ordinance, after the uh, resolution was signed and the variance was granted, the installer rushed to install the sign without being approved. So recently, a series of events brought it to light that they did not have a permit. So the sign company came back and was very humble and said, "Look, we'll pay for pay for the you know fines or whatever we have to." But Go ahead and straighten that out. Problem is, sign ordinance has changed. This is a lighting, to be internally illuminated sign. You can't really issue a permit for, for something that's not allowed. So, okay, so so their variance originally was granted for an additional sign. Right. And at the time, internally illuminated was permitted, so that it was an internal internally illuminated sign. Right. But then they did not get a permit to put the sign up. And so the sign as it exists now is allowed because it's a second sign that was granted, but the internally illuminated part, not so much. 
You got it. Okay. So, um, this is one that we'll just have to hear about, and this does require a public hearing. So there will be a public hearing Monday night. So really, the appropriate motion is to send it out without recommendation for any public hearing. Second. Right. Motion from Ms. Anders. Second from Mr. Sims. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No. Five to zero. Okay. So that will be in a public hearing on Monday night. Um, all right, 12 of 7 to 21, public hearing set for August 9th, 2021 at 6 p.m. for consideration of a sign variance at 2719 19th place house permit one additional unlighted wall sign at the rear of Jack and Jill at one and one at Sykes Shoes. Okay, um, and, and why you're gonna have to help me out with this because isn't this one building? Isn't, isn't it one building that houses both the businesses? It's got two concepts in it. It's got a, a jack, a jack and jill children's playhouse, and as well as a site street. Right, but it but it is one structure. So it's one one uh, one building. A multi tenant building. building but okay. You can see they're they're joint. Yes, and this is in District Two. There is a, a, oh, hey. another space next door to Sykes and Jack and Jill. Okay, so there's not least yet. Okay, so there's three we spaces, but only two businesses yeah, currently we, there. We are in Sykes and Jack. Okay, gotcha. Okay, um, and y'all have signs. So, so there's already two signs, correct? In the front. So it's okay. So you're gonna have to help me out with the uh, sign ordinance, even though they're in one building. So, because typically you're only allowed one wall sign. But is it one wall sign per business? It says one per store. One per store. But since there's only one per store, per store front. Per store. Yeah. <laughs> so so they, they, they are actually, even though you can, you can go back and forth from the inside, they yeah. actually utilize two tenant spaces, okay. two store fronts. Okay. So that, so they each get a so sign they because they have a store front. Okay. That's, that's right. That's what I was trying to get, wrap my head around because I know we've had this discussion with multi-tenant buildings before because it's weird sometimes. Um, like that one over on Lake Shore that has all the, the yeah, whatever. Um, okay, so this is allowing y'all to put signs on the back door yeah, for the back. Are there entrances a, in the back too? We have an entrance through a hallway that leads to the stores, okay. but there's a parking lot in the back very similar to what is over by Shea's and okay. Cycle. And we've been, having issues with people parking with kids in the back and then they just kind of think oh well, we don't know if we can go in these doors in the back they're walking through to the front yeah. and we need to see signage back there just to let yeah. them know that yeah she can indeed come through this side and it's an entrance okay got it okay and they are unlocked all right. Like to approve, so. uh, no, you can't do that. <laughs> Without yeah. recommendation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recommendation. Pending the public hearing. Yeah. 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 Yes, exactly the motion, what he said. So motion to send it out without recommendation pending the public hearing on Monday night. Yes. yes. So Alamon Sims, all in favor, please say aye. 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 That's five to zero. Sending it out. So that will be in the public hearing on Monday night. Next door in. I have a question. Yes, I'm actually taking my graduate drive to California to college, so I'll be in town next Monday. Okay. But we're just going to have a okay. yes, that's fine. Yeah, she can come as your representative. Yes, absolutely. Okay. That is absolutely okay. fine. And right. good luck with that. Thank I'm you. getting ready to do the same thing. So is she. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm not ready either. <laughs> we can commiserate. It was the best we've ever had. That's awesome. <laughs> so I was very happy. It's been a long trip. Yeah. All right, bye, y'all. Take care. All right, uh, so with that, we're adjourned. Uh,